This is how to install and use the free portable auto shutdown app. First thing first we need to download the app provided in the group. Extracting. You can extract the application using WinRAR or the latest WinZip. You can put the folder anywhere in your PC location or drive. It's typically extracted on the drive C if you are using a traditional PISANET setup because most of the system application are located there. But if you are using a diskless setup it's recommend to use the drive D or game disk. For ease of access and update, for now we will extract it on drive D. running at the first time. Note that it's as recommended to turn off your UAC or user accounts controls to avoid the app to misbehave or other application or games so it's recommended to turn it off as you can see for now. Once you extract the free auto shutdown app folder on your specific location, open or access the folder and run or double click the auto shutdown app.exe to start. The app sometimes will prompt the message you need to restart in order to apply the settings. We can ignore it for now because it's one of the security of the app. Moving on, the app icon will appear on the taskbar. To access, double click the icon and the app will prompt you with a login message. You can directly shut down the PC or log in your admin password. As for the version 5 we use this login method first before the settings panel. There is a timer countdown if you don't key in your admin password the login panel will automatically close. Because it's a first time to run the app the default password is admin. We can change the admin password as we go on. For now you can key in admin then press enter or click the OK button. Free portable auto shutdown app settings and functions. Once you key in the admin password the app will show the current lock screen default face. As you can see in the lower right side of the app window is where you can check if the app is enabled or check the version name. And on the lower left side are the main settings, admin lock, hide or minimize and terminate. First we need to familiarize the function. First is a terminate. This function will remove the settings such as run on startup or some applied security settings by the application. In short it's a uninstall function. The second one with the eye icon. This function will hide or minimize the app. The third with a lock icon, you can use this as a transparent lock screen for the admin if you are patching some games or doing AFK with the PC. You can remove the transparent lock screen if you key in the admin password. The last one is the main one, the wrench icon, where you can access the main settings menu. The main settings menu. This is the main settings menu of the free portable auto shutdown app. We will explain or familiarize the function one by one. We will start from the top. First is the background path. This is where we can choose the image or photo wallpaper for the lock screen. If you are using a traditional setup you can select the image by clicking the three dots button. Navigate and select your photo. Take note that use an image that is appropriate to your screen resolution because the app will scratch the image if it's on a different size and please use a medium to high resolution images to avoid blurry or pixelated background. As you can see there is a diskless BG option. This function is only used on diskless setup it will use one specific folder to use for background because if you want a different background on every PC on a diskless setup, you can use this function. And please note that you need to rename the images based on your current PC name. We will put it on another video for some in-depth tutorial for the diskless setup. The second one is the computer shop name. This will appear in the middle of the screen and has the biggest font size. You can put your custom Pissinet shop name. And on the side checkbox is a function used if you want your shop name animate into RGB. The next one is the PC name. You can customize the PC name if you are a traditional setup user. But if you are using a diskless setup, it is recommended to use the PC actual name. You can do it automatically by checking the Use PC Name checkbox. This will appear below the shop name text. The next one is the banner message one. This text will appear on the highs part of the lock screen as a running animated marquee message. You can put any message you want such as greetings or something else. You can customize it as you see fit. The next is the banner message too. This message or text will appear as a bouncing text. It's recommended to put it as is, but it's customizable to edit. You can change it to whatever text you want. For example, a translated insert coin in your language. Next is the shutdown time. You can customize this time in minutes. This function is the countdown timer duration before the PC will shut down if there is no coin or time is inserted. This will appear below the message banner too. Next is the text color. Note that this function will change all the color of the text except the shop name if you use the RGB function. Tip is to use a reverse color of the text based on the background wallpaper used. Example a white text on a dark wallpaper. The next one is the device detection. In this function you can select on which the app will trigger the auto shutdown countdown and lock screen. 
we will put it on another video for in-depth explanation or tutorial for the COM port installation. For now we will select the keyboard cutoff. The next are for security and main functions. We will explain it one by one. Auto shutdown. This will run the countdown. It will shut down the PC if it's on a lock screen based on the given shutdown time. Show lock screen. This will show the lock screen if triggered. It will show the lock screen based on your settings and wallpaper. You can set it uncheck if you are using a monitor cutoff. To reduce processing time. Auto mute audio. This will mute the audio when the app is triggered. It will unmute if the it's unlocked. The next functions is recommended to put it check on default to secure the application or auto running on startup. Secure app directory. This will limit the access of the user to the installation folder. Run on startup. This will enable the app to run when the PC boot. There is a optional features on the app. You can choose whatever what function you will enable, such as disable task manager. This will disable the task manager menu. Disable log off. This will remove the log off feature. Note that you need to restart the PC in order to apply these optional settings. The next is the notification. This will enable the closing time optional feature. Note that this feature will based on your PC time. Message. You can put a custom message prompted to the user if closing schedule is triggered. Notification will appear. This is the range time of your closing time. Lock screen or warning message. You can select on a different function. If you use the lock screen method it will lock your screen with a shutdown time. If you choose the warning message it will only show a message of closing. The next is a coin counter feature. You can tick the checkbox in order to activate this function. One peso is equal in minutes. In this setting you can set your rates of how many minutes does one peso cost. Next is the show info in the lock screen. This will show the current total earned in that specific PC on the lock screen. Estimated coin count. This will show of how many coin was inserted. Take note that this feature will only calculate the estimated coin count based on the running time of the PC if you turn off the PC early. And there is still time. It will not count. Discless CC. This setting is for the diskless setup. To select the TXT file to save the total coin count data, click the three dots button to browse for the TXT. If you don't have one you need to create one. It's recommended to create a text file based on the PC name. The last one is the reset. This will reset the total count of the coin to zero, but some information must be known or learned before setting this up. Note that this feature saves on a TXT file, because if that if you are using a deep freeze it will not work. You must have an unfreeze drive to put your TXT file, or a THON location. In Shadow Defender app you can set a THON folder where you can put the TXT file for this setting. But here is a tip. It is recommended that you put the TXT file on a server if you are using an always on PC. You can put the TXT file on a shared folder where any PC can access and modify. It will be explained on the diskless setup video of how to do it. For now we will not use this feature for demonstration. Next is the admin password, where you can change the admin password login. It will make you retype the password to avoid mistype your own password. Next is the most important one, run services. This will activate the security features of the app. This will prevent the user to end or terminate the app task or bypass. The next one is the enable. This is the setting of which you will enable the whole auto shutdown system. This will apply all the settings if you click save. Note that on save if you are using a COM port there are some checks or requirements or process to do in order to apply the save. It will be explained on the other video for port installation. This application is created in order to have an option for the auto shutdown application. We need to help each other. It's easy to learn and use this app. And it can save you a lot of electricity. And you need to learn of how to set it up you can ask the group some will answer. Thanks to the people who contribute in development of the app. In terms of ideas, testing and especially for the developer. If you are willing to help the developer you can send a Gcash directly. This is a freeware please do not sell. Sharing is good. And attracts good karma. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.